Hello, this is Kieran from Server Pro, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to set up a custom tab list like this on your Bungie Cord network using the plugin Bungie Tab List Plus. So, let's get straight into it. So this is the plugin that we're going to be using today to set up a custom tab list. And before we go ahead with this, you do need to make sure that you currently have a Bungie Cord network already set up. If you don't know how to do this, there'll be a link to this tutorial down in the description below. And here you can learn how to set up a Bungie Cord network yourself. So once you've got one set up, or if you already have, feel free to continue watching this tutorial. So the first thing that we need to do is download this plugin. So if you go to this page, there'll be a link to it in the description down below and then click the download now button and then save it to your downloads folder and it should download a .zip. Once you have this, go to your Bungie Cord server in the control panel, which I already have open here. And then once you're here, go to the file manager, then go to the plugins folder and click upload file, choose files and select the file that we just downloaded. Click open, then upload from computer. Then once it's uploaded, you should see the .zip here. So highlight it and then click unzip. And then you should see three files appear. So if you select the sponge bridge, bucket bridge, and then the .zip and then click delete, as we only need the Bungie Tablet Plus .jar file on the Bungie Cord server. So once you just have this, click restart. Then once you've installed that, you need to install the bucket bridge onto the spigot servers. So if we take a quick look at what it says on the plugins page, if you're using plugins such as factions, you have bucket permissions set up and vanish no packets, you can use the bucket bridge to introduce more features into the tablet. So even if you're not using these features, it's a good idea to install this onto the spigot servers anyway. So just go to the spigot servers, again go to the file manager, the plugins folder, click upload file, choose files, Select the file we just downloaded, upload to computer, and then once you've uploaded it, unzip it, and then delete everything apart from the bucket bridge. And then once you've done that, click restart. And just do this to all of the spigot servers that are within your network. So there we go, I've done that to all of the servers in my network as I only have two, the lobby server and the faction server. So once you've done this and everything has restarted fully, go ahead and join your server just to check that it is working before we start configuring it. So as you can see, I just joined my network and if I press the tab button, I can see that it is now displaying a custom tab. So this is what it displays by default. If you like what it displays by default, feel free to just go ahead and start using the plugin. You no longer need to continue watching this tutorial if you're happy with the way it currently displays it. However, if you want to configure it yourself and change the ways it displays some of the messages, feel free to continue watching. So to configure the plugin, go back to the control panel and go to the Bungie Cord server. And again, go back to the plugins folder if you're not already there and click the refresh button. And then you should see a folder called Bungie Tab List Plus appear. So if you go inside of this and then go into the Tab List folder, and then you should see a file here called default .yml. So if you go inside of this folder, this contains all of the settings for the tab list. So at first, this configuration file can look terribly complicated. However, it is quite simple. So we're going to be quickly going over some of the basic settings so we can change some color codes, maybe some animations, and change some placeholders that are displayed in the tab list. We aren't going to be going over every single setting though. There are some wiki pages that the plugin developer has provided us with, and I'll put links to these down in the description below where you can learn more about how the configuration file works if you want to go more in depth and completely change the way it looks. So the first setting that we're going to take a look at is the header message. So at the top of the tab list, it displays a bit of text and at the moment it says welcome and then the player's username. And then it will go through and it will animate and it will start turning a different color over a certain number of seconds. So as you can see here, it's got multiple lines. So each one of these lines is the new animation. So when you first open the tab list, it will just display welcome and then viewer name and the word welcome will be in the color red. And then after a split second, it will start turning into yellow. So you can change the words that are displayed here. So you could put um, welcome to our server. And then again, you could go through and edit every single line so that the animation goes through. So if you look here, and C moves over one letter and then Andy comes in just behind the first letter. And then as it goes on, the C keeps moving forward on each line. So you would need to do this all the way through to the end of the message if you wanted the animation to be continued throughout. However, I'm just gonna be leaving it as default. So you can also change the placeholders. So where you see little brackets like these with a word or a couple of phrases in between, it refers to a placeholder. So there's a link to this page in the description below. And this is basically when it displays something custom. So for example, a play name where it could be different depending on the player, or it could display the balance or the game mode or the faction that they're in, the ping that they have, the points that they have, if they have a point, some sort of points plugin, and um, the time of the server, the name of the skin, and um, loads of different things. So feel free to 
use whatever placeholders you'd like in exchange for the ones that I currently listed. However, I'm just going to be keeping them very similar to what they already are as I like the way it lays out by default. So you can actually disable or enable a header and footer if you wanted to. If you don't want them to be displayed and you only wanted it to display just the main details, you can actually set this to false and it will no longer display it. However, I like it so I'm going to leave it as true. And you can also change the interval that the animation occurs. So at the moment it occurs every 0.2 seconds. So every 0.2 seconds it will go through each of these lines. And you can change this to be a bit slower or even faster if you wanted it to. So you could just set it to 0.1 and then it would happen much quicker. Or you could set it to 0.5 and it would happen much slower. It's completely up to you. Do whatever you prefer. But I'm just going to leave it as default. As I mentioned, I currently like the way it is displayed. So the next setting is the footer. So here you're able to display two sets of lines with different messages on them. So here you could put maybe like, thank you for playing on our server. And then on the second line you could put, I hope you're having a great day and then you would put this on the second line too with the different color codes as if you remember the footer alternates colors between the top and bottom so you would just put the top message again in the same place and then the bottom message again in the same place then once you have that, you can choose the color codes that you want to use. So if you change the color codes that we use in the header, it's a good idea to use the same ones down here as it does look a bit more formal. So go ahead and update them to whatever you wanted it to be. So if you wanted it to be the same exact ones that were in the header, you could change and six to and C, and then that would be using the red color too. So it would have the exact same colors in the footer as it would in the header. But you can update them to whatever you want to be. You can even set them to di completely different colors if you wanted to. They don't have to be the same on each animation. And again, you can change the update interval for that too. So at the moment, it does it every 0.5 seconds. You could set it to every second if you wanted to. Two seconds, it's completely up to you. So here's the part that does get a bit more complicated. We're not going to be going over this as this is custom placeholders. And it, again, it does get quite complicated here. So we're not going to be going over that today. So the next part is this area here where it talks about the top three settings that are customizable. So at the top of the tab list at the moment, it currently displays the server that you're on, your rank if you have a permissions plugin set up and your ping. So this is where you can use different placeholders from the page that we mentioned earlier and change what it displays. So for example, instead of rank, if you wanted it to display the TPS instead, you could put TPS. And then if you go to the placeholders, and then if we just do a quick search for TPS, you can see that we can use this placeholder here, view server TPS in place of the current one. And then it would display the TPS of the server instead of the rank. So again, you can just customize these to display whatever you want from this page. It's completely up to you. Or leave them as standard if you want to. And again, you can update the color codes too. So at the moment, they're displayed in a light red and I believe that's a gold color. So you can choose whatever you want too. But I'm just going to leave it as default as I do like the current color scheme. So then if we scroll a bit further down, you can see here it's got these lines. So again, this is similar to how the header works. Each line is a separate animation, so it will cycle through this to change the color of these lines at the bottom. So feel free to update the colors again, or even just remove these completely, or you could add some different symbols if you wanted to, like maybe a dash instead if you wanted to do that. Again, completely up to you. So at the very bottom, you can change placeholders that are displayed at the bottom of the tab list. So at the moment, it displays the time, the players, and the balance of the player's economy. So similarly to how we just edited the top part here, where we edited the TPS, you can edit the bottom part in the same way. Just feel free to use the placeholders from this page and use whatever color code you want. So once you've made any changes to the configuration file, click save, and then restart the Bungie code server, and then rejoin, and you should see the changes. So as you can see, I've just joined my Minecraft server and if I press tab, you should be able to see the changes that I've made. So you can see at the very bottom in the footer that it is displaying the custom message that I set and it is alternating between yellow and red instead of gold and red, which it originally was set for. And if you look at the middle column, you can see that TPS is displayed at the top instead of the rank. So if you've run into any problems in this tutorial, feel free to contact our support on our website and I'll be more than happy to help you. If you have any suggestions for new tutorials that you'd like to see on the channel, please leave them in the comment section down below as we're always looking to do new tutorials on the channel. So thank you for watching. I hope that you have a fantastic day. Goodbye.